So for the last couple years now, I've made a video uh, about my my first thoughts after playing the first WWE 2K game. Just try to give you my perspective, things I like, things I didn't like, etc. Uh, as I'm sure a lot of you know, this year 2K flew out a bunch of influencers. I hate that word. I uh, it makes me. Mm, I hate that word. Uh, to test out the new 2K game. So shout out to them for allowing me to have that opportunity. So before we start. Uh, let me say this. I'm the type of person who wears my heart on my sleeve. You can tell by my level of excitement about something how I feel about it. And I am not happy to say that my excitement level this year is very low. It's very low. I'm going to go over why. And as always, I'm going to be as open and honest as I can about how I felt. I have a lot of notes here on my phone, so you might see me glancing over at this because it's it's a lot i kind of jump around a little bit so bear with me uh but either way buckle up because it's gonna be a bumpy ride let's start on a positive note 2k originals really really cool for me this was the shining light in the game and look i know a lot of people aren't super into the fantasy zombie fire stuff and like i get it but i've always liked that type of stuff so like i kind of knew from when they announced this, that I was I was probably going to dig it. A lot of the zombie characters, however, are a little unnecessary, and some of the arenas aren't as interactive as others. Like, the boiler room is, is kind of just a room, whereas, like, the graveyard area has a lot of really cool stuff you can inter interact with, like the book and the tombstones and that type of stuff. There's a car there. So some areas definitely got a lot more love than other areas. But overall, 2K Originals is one of the things that got a thumbs up from me, for sure. Uh, controls. Oh, boy. The new controls uh, were pretty easy to get used to, honestly. it When you first look at it and you look at the new uh, controller layout, especially for people that haven't played it yet, you're probably like, what the friggin' hell is this? Why would you change it? And I get it. I truly understand. I don't understand why they decided to make that change this year. I have some theories, and we'll talk about it in a second. Um, it seemed like such an unnecessary change, and they said it was to help new players uh, get into the game and kind of streamline the control system. But I would argue that having certain things be like multiple buttons, like the finishers and the OMGs, and having to use the right trigger as like a modifier for a lot of things, that actually is going to make things more difficult for new players and definitely seems less streamlined than they would maybe like to think that it is. Um, I think they changed the controls, and this is just my opinion, because they needed, needed something to make this feel different from the previous games. And that's something I will circle back to in a little bit. Uh, showcase mode. I've never really been big on showcase mode, honestly. It's just, it just hasn't been my favorite mode. There's not a lot of replayability to it. Um... It's cool to see certain things recreated in game, but a lot of the objectives this year are very repetitive and just kind of make the matches unnecessarily longer. Uh, I'm glad the women got a feature spot this year, like the four horsewomen, the Earl story. They're definitely deserving of a showcase, but the mode itself is one that just never really excited me. You know, like I play through it once. I'm like, oh, that was that was cool. And then you just kind of move on to something else. Uh, and there's only so many times I can watch someone's hair glitch through their shirt. Now the gameplay itself. Oh, boy. Um, in my opinion, all of this is just my opinion. One person here. It's a step down. It's a step down. And look, I get it. I had a conversation with him. I get it. Ukes left. It left them in a tough position. They had to rebuild a lot of stuff. From the ground up, like, I get it. But a lot of stuff just really, really felt off. Hit detection this year, I've mentioned this in a few videos so far, but I get to elaborate a little bit on it now. Hit detection this year is really, really bad. I will be running right at someone to hit them with a strike and just completely miss, completely whiff. Uh, hitting someone with weapons is even worse. Really, really bad. Um... Something is just off with the targeting system. Multi-person matches, you see it a lot in multi-person matches. You know how you can click the stick and change who you're targeting? Like, the best way for me to describe it is it doesn't actually feel like you're targeting anyone. It kind of feels just like a random whatever happens, happens. Um, and if the gameplay itself feels off, which it does, 
there's really only so much these little extra bells and whistles are going to be able to do. Now, with that being said, there are some cool bells and whistles that I did see that I actually liked a lot. Weapon customization is cool. You can set specific weapons to appear under the ring like that. That's a pretty cool addition. Uh, some of the new paybacks this year are really sick, like with the hands coming out of the ground and like one of them you turn into like Metal Mario or some wild looking thing. But again, that's cool to me because I like the fantasy stuff. I like that arcadey stuff. Like I remember playing wrestlemania the arcade game i think that's what the game was where like if you're playing as yokozuna and you do a move like chicken thighs like flop out of your body and if you're playing as the undertaker like ghouls come out of your fists like that's i dig that type of stuff but i completely understand that some people are going to look at these things and just be like what the f is this so yes i definitely like some of those things but there's a big old but but I did not and do not want it to come at the cost of making the gameplay itself or other portions of the game not as good. You know what I mean? Like if if that's the trade off, if it's like, oh, here, there's more arcadey stuff, but the base core game is a little wonky, then I'll be like, OK, well, maybe take that stuff back and work on what you need to work on. As much as I love the fantasy arcadey stuff, like I said, I don't want it to come at the cost of the rest of the game feeling off, if that makes sense. Graphics, which for some people isn't make or break. For me, graphics are not make or break, but it literally feels like two completely different games at times. Like you'll look at people like Keith Lee and Jerry the King Lawler. I think Ciampa also, like some guys have super sick looking character models. And you're like, wow, that looks really good. And then others that have been in the game for years and years and years you're just kind of like what happened there i think y'all actually might be hearing from Dwayne's lawyers about whatever that was but that's neither here nor there uh again i don't know what's up with the hair physics that's one of the things that i see people asking me like the most that a complete downgrade from last year just like if you if you've seen bianca belair's entrance or just generally fighting in the ring and in specific cutscenes and showcase you'll see it Especially the women, just the hair is just like, what happened, you know? On top of that, no new match types. Well, one new match type, if you want to count the, uh, the mixed tag challenge thing. Uh, but given all the wacky stuff that was added this year, it's, it's weird that, like, you don't have an Inferno match, but you have an arena that's completely surrounded by fire and flames and lava and stuff, or a casket match, or a buried alive match, when you have actual zombies in the game or for the love of baby Jesus, special friggin' re Moving on, like a special referee, is it that hard? Like, is it really, let me stop. Um, oh, here's something good. Uh, career mode seems like it's gonna be pretty fun this year. I, I, some people had some things on social media to say about career mode and I get it. I played about the first hour of it, so who knows where it's gonna go from there. Yes, the writing is a little corny and a little, uh, another word that I hate, a little cringy. Ugh, I hate that word. But as like goofy as it is, I, I enjoyed what I played through so far. Again, only the first hour. That's always my favorite mode every year. So that should not come as, as a surprise to people. That's always the mode that I'm looking forward uh, to playing the most. The characters, however, especially, especially the non-playable characters, like the, the high school children and like people that aren't the main focus they look like plastic they 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 look so so off like there's such a huge discernible difference between someone who was definitely face scanned into the game and someone who was uh, like manufactured into the game if that makes sense like there's such a huge night and day difference between the two like you know brooklyn von bronski whatever her name is was not scanned into the game nor were the other high school kids uh it looks like they kind of just hit like the randomized button inside create a superstar but definitely a little bit of a downgrade as far as that goes but the mode itself i'm definitely looking forward to playing that i will say that creation suite uh Pretty much no updates, like no update. Oh, I'm sorry. No, there was one update. They removed one of them. Uh, they removed create a championship. It's not currently in the game. They said they will be bringing it back in a patch, hopefully by the end of the year. Whether or not that's actually going to be able to happen is 
kind of up in the air because from what they said, it was full of bugs. It was full of other issues and they didn't want to put it into the current game. But who knows how long those bugs are going to take to fix? Who knows if they're actually going to fix them or be able to be fixed? Uh, but supposedly that is going to make its way back into the game and fingers crossed. Hopefully it does. I can't comment on this personally, but I did hear that create an arena and uh, highlight reel had some pretty major issues as well. Again, I can't like that's just something that was told to me. I can't comment on that personally because I didn't see it firsthand. I heard they're full of bugs. Hopefully that's something that they patch out before the game uh, comes out. But again, I didn't play that firsthand, so I can't tell you that with 100 percent certainty. Universe mode. I literally wrote down here. I got nothing. Same promo system, same format, more match slots. Uh, this mode needs a serious overhaul. If you're not going to put in GM mode, which people feel one way or another about, there are ways to implement GM mode features into universe mode. A, a currency system, uh, a, a rating system between the shows that makes them feel like they're competing against each other. A draft, like things like that. It's kind of a shame because this mode literally has so much potential like the options are are limitless in in the long run but it's just one of those things that that desperately needs an overhaul needs a buff because it's people some of people's favorite modes it's probably like it's probably up there with career mode as far as what people look forward to the most every year and it's just it's just more of the same it's just more of the same again i get it yukes left it was a tough year they had to rebuild a lot of shit like i get it um I don't make games, right? So I don't know all of the ins and outs of that. But I will say that this series cannot afford these like transitional years anymore. It just it just can't. It can't. It's it needs to be balls to the wall or not at all. That rhymed and it didn't mean to. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh that's that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's do like a recap. Too long, didn't listen. Uh, the good. 2K Originals. Career mode. The. Eh. Eh. Universe mode. Creation suite. Showcase mode. The ugly. Core gameplay issues. No new matches. Hair physics. Downgraded graphics. Character targeting. At the end of the day. If you liked WW2K19, I got some good news for you. You're probably going to like 2K20. Um, if you didn't like 2K19, you might not like this one too much. If you like the wacky stuff, 2K20's got a lot more of that. If you don't like the wacky stuff, 2K20's got a lot more of that. Let me also say, I, I, and this should be obvious, this, this should go without saying, but I obviously appreciate the opportunities for having them fly us out. I get to play the game early, record footage for you guys. Like, I'm absolutely grateful for that. Like, do not get me wrong. But at the end of the day, when the game series that is the, the primary one on my channel is in the state that it's in, I have to speak up and I have to say something about it. That's just... That's just the way that it is. I remember actually watched. I watched my um, my video, my 2K19 video from last year when I first got home and I did the same type of video, but for 2K19, I was excited to actually go and start playing 2K19 after that. You know what I mean? Like I was home and I was like, oh, man, I can't wait to get the game and like start making content and stuff. But this year, I feel like once I'm done with career mode like that, that might be it. You know what I mean? Like that, that might be it. I don't really know how long of a lifespan this game's going to have for me. Of course, they got the 2K, um, uh, the 2K Originals DLC coming out. So, yeah, I'm going to check that out, too, because I like the original stuff. Um, but beyond that, like that might be it. Now, of course, that could change. That, they might patch a lot of stuff. Things might change as time goes on. But as it stands right now, my excitement level is far less than it was last year and probably in most of the previous years altogether. But I did mention a few months ago that we're going to be getting back to a little more of a variety of games on this channel this year and moving forward. So with what I've seen and played from 2K20, that's 
pretty much a guarantee at this point. So that's that. I, I rambled long enough. Um, hopefully that gives you an, an idea, a pretty in-depth idea of how I honestly feel about the game this year. And feel free to send this to the jabronis on social media who would just think, oh, these YouTubers, they just go there, they just kiss ass and they don't care how the game is. They, like... Come on, man. Like the, the fact that anyone would still think that, especially after this year, is like is just annoying at this point. But I will say this. It's going to take a lot more than a mediocre video game to stop me from bringing you guys the best content I possibly can and just bringing you the heat whenever possible. One way or another, we're still going to get it done. So uh, thank you to all of you who have supported me this whole time and uh, have rocked with me since the beginning. Thank you to you guys who are maybe new to the channel. Um, I would not be in this position without you guys. Like that's, that's just the way that it is. Like the support from you guys over all these years, you continue to rock with me. You continue to have my back. And I am literally, honestly, eternally grateful for that. Like dead ass. Um, so thank you. Thank you for the support. Make sure you stay tuned for much more. Plenty of stuff coming your way. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.